welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome. This is Epic 13. For those, <laughs> for those of you that don't know me... <laughs> Apparently some sort of big deal. No, oh, <laughs> you're not meant to talk yet, John. Come on. Sorry. Jeez. So, hello. I am Joe Show, everyone. I'm going to be your host for the uh, next very painful 10, 15 minutes-ish. Going to be some chances to win some free stuff, because we like free stuff, apparently. <laughs> Such a little scavenger, aren't you? Such a little scavenger. So, last time I did this, I was kind of like, oh, this is my first time hosting the opening ceremony. Please feel sorry for me and like me. I can't really get away with that this time around. Um, so I'm just going to attempt to be humorous and likable. Let me know if that works. So we're going we're gonna to keep this moving. Eh, eh, thank you. Um, so we're going to get this moving along. I'm going to introduce the main man himself, someone that obviously handed down the opening ceremony bat on to myself, but we're going we're to bring him on anyway, talk to him a little bit. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you get a round of applause for uh, Mr. Winbar, the main man of Epic Lan? Make him feel welcome. No, I don't want to. No. Do I have to? Which side's he going to come from? That's the magical part now. We've got these, we actually have working microphones as well. I know, it's great. <laughs> I've got a wireless mic that actually works. It's behind you. Come on, John. Do I have to? I've just don't had a new beer. Don't be shy. Oh, fine. Please. You're making me look bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, let's get one big round what of the hell? Let's get him out of here. Come on. Hey. <laughs> wow, this you're, is no microphone interference. You'll Check be glad out. to know we've actually bought a new mic that works. I think that deserves a round of applause Great. just for having working microphones. Like, can we get, like, get a little round? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Gump. Repping that UK scene. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to mention our three exhibitors who are here this weekend. Um, okay, Make some on. noise for them. Come on, guys. Look alive. You don't even know who they are yet. Actually, did you all see the news story this week about um, you porn wanting to get into sponsoring competitive teams? That's you porn and Fleshlight. Gary, can you deal with that for the next event? Cool. Anyway, proper serious welcome to our exhibitors. We've got MSI. We've got Inwin, who are returning for many times. And new to the Epic Land events, we've got Kingston. Wow, clear favorite there, clear favorite. So it's great to see more and more businesses interested in coming along and showing you what they've got to offer. But I don't know what they're doing this weekend, so uh, one of you three, or all of you three, you going to tell us what's going on on your stands? Go on, Arj. Right, how you all doing? I'm Jim. So we've got some products to show you, and we're also selling some products uh, quite cheap. So if you come over tomorrow, uh, we'll be just showing you the products, giving away some beers, sweets, and generally having a good time and uh, supporting you guys. So uh, look forward to meeting you all. Cheers. Woo. So, that's Kingston. Let's see what MSI are up to. AJ? Hi, everyone. So, <laughs> so we're doing exactly the same as Jim. Uh, we're, we're demoing our products. We're, we're selling some products for cheap. Uh, just to show you what we've got to offer. Uh, it's just for you all to have a quick play. And we've got some competitions on as well over the weekend, which you can find out when you visit our stand. Thank you. And uh, last up, Justin, who's from like five minutes down the road from me, fellow Stokey here. Ooh. Oh, is that a bad Sorry idea then, guys? <laughs> uh, we've got, got two uh, 904s uh, playing tight four all weekend. Again, we've got... Um... Can't hear you, mate. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I said that's better. <laughs> we've got two uh, 904s uh, playing tight four all weekend. Uh, just coming over, play games uh, anytime you want over the weekend. We've also got some of the, as James said, some uh, units that we're selling, uh, which is uh, through box.co.uk. Some deals going on on the cases. So, yeah, look forward to seeing you all the guys uh, tomorrow. All right. All right. Let's make some noise for these guys. Uh, other, other thanks to make. Now, have we got any League of Legends players in here? <laughs> Apparently not, or we'd have more players. I blame Valgar. Anyway, League of Legends, we had a great turnout at Epic 12. 
many teams. So we got them some sponsorship for this event with a guaranteed two grand prize pot for League of Legends. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, thanks to, sorry, I have to do the thank you bit. Uh, thanks to GT Omega and to Sora. So there'll be some goodies and some cash prizes for League of Legends. Is there still time to form a team, Valgar? No, all right, tough. <laughs> He's got balls, I like it. So, so thank you to those guys for sponsoring League of Legends. Uh, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive. Our friends at ESL UK are back and they've also dragged in Razor and AOC. They've got some pretty exciting coverage plans going on. So they've set up an off-site studio for CSGO to stream all the matches. That'll be good. Uh, I can never pronounce this company's name properly. Is it Gamdias? I really should get that right. Um, they've sent along some goodies for the weekend for some of the fun tournaments, as have Astro Gaming. And Astro Gaming will be doing some sponsorship of the pub quiz as well. So it's not just about the... Uh... Don't worry, I'm not doing a, an Astro round. Those, those sorts of things get a little bit painful, so I'm not doing that, don't worry. I've got to be careful how I say this. The, um, the epic... Hunt is back for this event. The epic Hunt is back, which, yeah, you heard. So, it's basically an evil, nasty puzzle hunt that's going on over the next couple of days. Okay, uh, there'll be various clues around the venue online. Uh, in fact, I'm going to let these guys explain it because they've written it. Hi. As he said, it's the puzzle hunt. <laughs> God, that light's bright. Okay. It's a puzzle hunt which requires intellect, craftiness, and a bit of logic thinking. <laughs> You're all in. You don't need any specific knowledge. It's just able to sort of... Basically, you Google foo, your ability to obtain knowledge. We also, for new guys... We have an FAQ. Also, if you want to come and speak to us about what's actually involved, feel free. It's going to be done over two days, and each day probably reckon take about three and a half hours to complete. What I would say is pace yourself. If you've got games going on, come in, dip in, do a little bit, go play your games. While you're waiting for your next game, come and do a little bit more. So, uh, and what else have we got? Oh, yeah, when's it actually happening? That's all. <laughs> We've got a new website uh, with new features, so sign up, techie guys, it should all be working, so after this you can sign up and do a few teaser questions. First round tomorrow starts at 11 o'clock, and then on Saturday it's also 11 o'clock. There may be some prizes, but ultimately it's about pride, completing this and feeling that good feeling inside, knowing how clever you are. So thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Indeed. Make some noise there. Let's keep it going. Keep clapping until John makes his way back. This could take a so, couple of seconds. So that's 11 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, we'll post some details up on the internet as well so you can find that. So that's the epic um, hunt. We've got more volunteers this event than any, any event before. And the events need volunteers to continue running. Everybody all the way through to the management team, including them, is a volunteer to run this event. None of us get paid. We do it for some reason because we really enjoy it. Um, not entirely sure I enjoy getting two or three hours of sleep a night, but no, we do. That's why we keep coming back. That's why we keep running Epic Land. So if you see any of the volunteer staff around, mostly in Epic T-shirts or the lanyards, if nothing else, say thank you. But if you see them at the bar, as always, I'm sure they'd appreciate a drink at least in return for working hard to bring you these events. So let's hear it for the Epic Land volunteer team. <laughs> 